in this video, we'll show how you can set up, uh, say, Facebook and Google as um, identity providers for use within Amazon Cognito. So you can see I already have Facebook and Google configured. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and delete Facebook and then delete Google. And then we can uh, show how we can start from scratch and, and enter them in again. So I'll go and delete Facebook, and then I'll go and uh, delete Google as well. And now let's go ahead and add um, Facebook in as an identity provider. So we'll go here, we'll choose Facebook. And now we're going to need to enter our Facebook um, client ID App Secret and Scopes. So before we do that, we need to go to the Facebook Developer Console, log in and create a Facebook application to interface with uh, Cognito. So let's go now to uh, Facebook. So I'm going to go to um, Facebook Developer Login. And I'm going to um, let me just make this visible on the screen here. I'll go to My Apps and I'll create a brand new app over there. And I'll choose Other, Next. This is going to be a uh, consumer. Then I'll click Next. And I'll call my app name. I'll give it a name. I'll call it uh, AWS. Cognito login demo. Go ahead and press the create button. I'll choose Facebook login. And uh, so then I'll go to settings on the right hand side, on the left hand side here. And we're going to need to enter our um, URL, our callback URL. Uh, and this is the callback URL to Cognito. So what's going to happen is we are going to bring up the Cognito hosted UI, click on a button that says login with Facebook. Cognito will redirect to Facebook. And then once we've authenticated against Facebook, Facebook will redirect back to Cognito. So we're going to need to enter a URL here for Cognito. So the URL that we need to uh, enter here is the Cognito domain name followed by OAuth2 IDP response. So we'll go here and type in O. Uh, let's see, O auth2 slash idp response. Let me just check that I've typed that incorrectly. Um, yep, that looks correct. So we'll just go ahead here and say save changes. And then we can go to um, our settings here and get the um, client ID and secret, which we're going to need. So here's the client ID and there's the secret, which I'm going to then copy to the clipboard so that we can go back to uh, Cognito and enter these values. So I'll just co go ahead here and copy this value and put it uh, on my clipboard. So I, n I now have my Facebook um, uh, app ID and secret. So I'm going to just uh, enter those over here. Now, normally you wouldn't show your secret to anybody, but since I'm going to del delete this uh, Facebook app after the video, it's okay for me to show it now. So I'll go there and just uh, enter the Facebook uh, secret. And then the scopes that I want are um, open ID and email. And then we're going to need to specify how the 
email attribute in Cognito maps to the Facebook email attribute. So I'll go there and choose email maps to email and then go ahead and click the add identity provider button. I'll just use email and then go ahead then and click add. So now we've got um, Facebook uh, registered as an identity provider. So we can go back to app integration now and then go to our hosted UI and go over to uh, the client there, demo three, go to the edit this and scroll down to um, identity providers and then add Facebook in uh, and then click save changes. So now we've basically got Facebook configured as one of the available identity providers. And if we click the uh, view hosted UI to preview what the hosted UI looks like, we now see that Facebook appears as one of the available um, third party identity providers. So next we're going to show how we configure Google as a third party identity provider. And we'll pick that up in the next video.